Boom! My mom has Alzheimer's. Lewy body dementia. Something called frontotemporal dementia. Evolving dementia. We got stuck with a disease that hardly has any information about it. Everything is so vague and it's like you could try this, you could try that. I was looking for somebody to help and there just wasn't anybody. I started the Stumptown Dementia blog for a lot of different reasons. What Lickety has done with her blog is she has said, let's talk about what's really going on and let's have family care partners see that I'm not the only one. It also opened up a whole new world of other dementia caregivers who became my touchstones, my lifelines. For about the last year of mom's life, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be so much fun to just like get a house on wheels and roll around the country and meet these people. <laughs> cheers, cheers. There's so much more to dementia than they tell you in the movies. <laughs> We're gonna have to see how it goes for my dad. Right now, I think he is crying out for a break. I didn't know if she knew it was me or if she was just mad at the person that was coming in, but she was pissed off and I was like, oh. And I never knew what to do with that because it was so not her character. He doesn't speak much these days. And once in a while, you'll get the, hey, sweetie. You know, and you're like, oh my gosh, dad, you know. The people who he was working with had lost all respect for him. And it was really important to me to kind of clear his good name, to let everybody like, know. Good news, it's dementia. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I know. He's not an asshole. The last thing you said to us was, I'm going to bed. You didn't say, I'm going to go out for a two and a half hour walk. I didn't intend it to be two and a half hours. I got lost. <laughs> We're all in our own houses, in our own little worlds, caring for our, our people. And we think we're the only ones that are doing it when there's people all over the country doing it. We just don't know them. Maybe this movie will be seen by enough caregivers so that we push a generation of caregivers a little further down the road. And then they, in turn, can figure out the way that they're going to let the next generation of caregivers get a little bit of a head start. And maybe we can all stop being so Blind. Yeah. So this is my journey to tell you the story of dementia family caregivers.